like we always do about this time. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> what's up what's up what's up everybody welcome to another episode of i often wonder what up it's your boy wild Mar, of course detroit now we are in the building in the place to be we, we in the building matter of fact i think i'm still in the mouth let's let's yeah, yeah let's, let me let me let me get to the crib <laughs> boom Bam. Bam! Switch arena. Yeah, snorting lines off the piano. Wow. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> snorting lines <laughs> off the behinds. <laughs> anyway, y'all know the deal. Y'all going over to our YouTube page. I often wonder. Come here, girl. Hit the lights here. Hit the lights here. <laughs> <Get> the <laughs> lights here. <laughs> Subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. Bing. Bing. And it'll let you know every time that we have dropped new content. But please like, share the YouTube page, and just spread the word on what we got going on over here. I often wonder. Right, right. Yeah, we like to do some uh, thought provoking little conversation, Jenny. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, but before we get too deep off into the conversation, please go on over to your respective app store, whether it is the Google Play Store or the Apple Store. Download uh-huh. the I O O W. Network, yes, so <laughs> a lot of great content on there, as, as well as I often wonder. I ought to be sports. Um, if you are into wrestling, we got the Dirty Hills. Shout out to the good brother Bo Kofi Weston, right, right, right. Dirty Hills. Uh, shout out to our brother from another L Jeffrey Moore with LJ Presents, right, right. Um, we got some, uh, you know, some uh some story podcasts uh, mm-hmm. or narrative podcasts right uh, you know uh with air paradox and white ball great podcast definitely go show them some love and support mm-hmm. we, we, we still got to get the uh, old gods appalachia on here we gotta get them on here again we get, yeah we got that was that was a good time but i think we need to get them get some of their content on here because i think a lot mm-hmm. of people love their uh their oh, yeah. podcast I think, oh, yeah. um uh, we'll work on that but most importantly, we are music lovers here. And I often wonder. So, of course, we got a lot of great music from mainstream artists, as well as the up and coming underground independent artists grinding. We got right, to right. To grind it on your mind. Yeah. Yo. Uh, but look, without further ado, let's get into today's topic. And if those, uh, if you don't have the Peacock app, I recommend that you get it because. Um, uh, Mel kind of uh, brought up a good, uh, uh, you know, topic. He was like, let's kind of compare and contrast the original Fresh Prince of Bel-Air mm-hmm. to this uh, this reboot called Bel-Air on Peacock app. Right, and, right. Um, I've been loving it, man. I've been <laughs> loving it. I, I, I know, I've, I've seen some mixed reviews from certain people. And, mm. uh, you know, uh, just me personally, I love the reboot because it, it's... They modernized it. Mm-hmm. They definitely modernized it. Uh, you know, uh, language-wise, fashion-wise, um, you know, thought process-wise, as in you know, uh, dealing with uh, police and stuff like right. that. Um, popo. Yeah, uh, the popo. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, it, it's good to see because yes, it does have some comedy aspects about it. Mm-hmm. You're also getting the full drama spring, uh, 
uh, uh, screen about it. You're getting, uh, you know, some comedy, some some love, little little mm-hmm. parts of the drama sprinkled in there. Uh, you know, the backstabbing, conniving parts, elements of drama in there. Right, right. It, it, it's and it's gritty. And I I think the best way to describe this reboot of Bel Air is take Fresh Prince and you mix it with Snowfall. Mm. Or, or you mix it with like power or something like that. Right, right, right. And this is what you get. I like the dynamic. I, okay. I absolutely love it. How you feel about it, big homie? Man, I hate that shit. Like, no, <laughs> <laughs> no I, I, I kind of enjoyed it too. I watched all four episodes. Um, you know, there's a couple of things I saw. I was like, hmm, I wonder about that. You know, um, I like I like the new Hillary. I like mm. the fact she ain't dense. I mean, oh. And did she? Yeah, and I don't get me wrong. It worked for that time, you know, the old Hillary. Mm-hmm. It worked because that was the old narrative. You had like a Dixie, you know, the Dixie one, the smart one, that kind just of just pretty, just and, you know, and, yeah. yeah. But I like the fact they didn't bring her back that way. They made her you no. Know, it's more modern. She's into social media. Mm-hmm. You know, she's trying to be an influence, influencer, content creator. So yeah. I think that kind of works. It makes it more modern. It fits into mm-hmm. the time. I mean, Carlton, you know, what would a Carlton uh, today look like, you know, going to going to a, a, a predominantly white school and private school, private school. Yeah. You know, he is athletic. I mean, he knows not playing a traditional sport, but he is, he's athletic because he's running that particular sport he's in, you know, and what would he look like? I mean, you know, you got to think about, you know, we was in high school, you experiment with drugs. You know, women, all that kind of stuff, drinking parties. So, still showing that aspect of what high school life will look like, and you know, and then you look at um, Ashley. You know, I kind of like how this Ashley is. She, you know, she seems to be to them smart for own good, right? <laughs> right. You know, <laughs> trying to grow like, up. So trying quick. to grow up. I mean, but that's what kids. Some kids are at that age. Yeah. But, so it's but, not. Hey, I get what you're saying. But you got well, hold on a second. You gotta mix the element of they have money into that. Yes. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You gotta mix that element because see some things you might try to compare to like us at who, 10 years old. Who but been broke. We didn't, All who we broke. broke. <laughs> no, we gotta ride the bus to get to we going. <laughs> you know what I'm broke. saying? Yeah. Right. It's well 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 like when she got money, she can kind of like find ways to do certain things. I like this Jeffrey. Oh, oh, bro! You, you know took it right. This Jeffrey is a. Uh, I like this dynamic of Jeffrey. Yeah, like, like, this like, Jeffrey. like this man got the shots is on call, bro. He was like, he he, mm-hmm. he told he told him, don't worry about it, bro. It's taken care of. Right. And he like like what you mean taken care? Of? And then you you, you know, come a couple of days later, you get the call. Yo, Rashad, dead, dead. bro. <laughs> oh, dead. Uh-huh. wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me say this from the beginning. There will be some spoilers. So if you haven't watched all of it, yeah, yeah. Go watch it, then come back and listen to this because yeah. we're gonna have some spoilers in there. All right, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, bro. But we I'm like, oh, this Jeffrey Gangster. Yeah, he this, gangster. This, this man got the calls. He he can make right. a phone call and, and he's a real house handle. manager. Bro, that's a house real house manager. Well, you don't you ain't gotta worry about nothing. Oh, Jeffrey got it. I like that. I like this dynamic that they gave Jeffrey because it right. it, it it makes him more because uh, you know uh, the Jeffrey on the original one he was just you know the butler that you can confide into you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying but and I this one tell, not, I, I, and there's no knock against my 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 uh my people in in the community but was that Jeffrey gay? No, Jeffrey wasn't gay. I thought we were the original Jeffrey. Yeah, no, he wasn't gay. You, I used to think it as a kid. Was he gay? No, you don't remember. He he used to pull some tail in the original one, man. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, I know. Guys, to have my because he used to be twitching a little bit and making a funny face. I'm like, hey, no, I mean, you do, was, you do you, Jeff. Hey, I'm no, just saying. What it was, it was the high pitched British voice. That's what. That's what it was. That's what oh, it was. Okay. But no, Jeffrey used to pull tail back back in the original well, one. This well, this one is too. Oh, bro! And not only is he pulling tail, but he talking mad, cold cash shit to out be his friends, and right. and he he got the shotters on the call, making uh-huh. you know getting rid of asses like he right, bro. I love this dynamic of this Jeffrey because it's like he, he, 
you don't you wouldn't have expected that from the original one. And right. I'm not trying to compare and contrast, but it's such a different element that you're getting of the characters. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's literally like I think the Will character is still somewhat similar to the original one, you know, mm-hmm. cocky, arrogant, vulnerable, mm-hmm. um, you know, goes through the ups and downs of life. Uh, but still parts of himself he's not sure about, but the parts that he is sure, he mm-hmm. lets it out. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I, I think that was probably the same character that's still one and the same. Okay, okay. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, I, th- I like this Uncle Phil. You know, I like the fact they showed the connection to uh, him being in the on alphas and yeah. they're doing the line. He's on the line, uh, you know. Saying doing the line, yeah, my crowd. Yeah, yeah, my crowd. <laughs> and I was like, "Where the heck is yeah, my crowd, North Carolina?" I know. I'm like, I've been living in North Carolina for 17 years. I'm like, like, where the heck is like, that? Like, like, is this uh, real? Bro, I had to I, Google it. Dog. Did it come up? <laughs> I'm about to Google it. Oh, okay. I'll just say, I'm, God. I'm, 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 I'm like, yeah, I'm a crawl. Yeah, I'm a crawl. I'm a crawl. That must be somewhere down deep in the country. Yeah, it must be like one of one staff lights and, and two horses. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, what he's saying is it's a it's a unincorporated community in Pender County, North Carolina. Oh, okay, it's in Pender County. So it's uh, I'm trying to find it. So it looks like it's not too far from uh, Rocky Point. Rocky Point. Yeah, that's what they say. Shoot, they got any other city? Because I don't know. Them. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I ain't never heard. It. I, I I thought it was a joke. I'm trying to see where it's close to. It's because it's pulling up on Google Maps. Uh, yeah, it, it's saying it's not too far from Wilmington. Oh, okay, okay. Because Pedro is down that way. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. He said, "Sound from Wilmington." So, yeah. So he'd be like, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah." We don't say. So pretty much, if you're in Wilmington, you go like northwest, and uh, it should take you to Yama Yama Crawl. Hmm. Hmm. Well, anyway, um, sound, sound country, Sam. All right. Shout out to Yama Crawl. All my folks down there. You know what I'm saying? All my people in the crawl. <laughs> but yeah, I, I like, I like, I like the, I, I like all of them. All the characters, I like. I, I'm a, I, I, I only thing I, I will say is that I didn't like they made jazz from LA and not from Philly. Philly, yeah, yeah, because because one of the reasons why he he was friends with Will back in Philly, back in Philly, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm not mistaken, that's what I thought. I Maybe mean, I just assumed that. You know what I'm saying? I might have to go back and look now. Um, now I want to ask you about this. What do you think about the scene when they was in the locker room and uh? The white boys were singing a song, and they was like, they were saying nigga. And Carlton was getting down with it. Honestly, I think that's still somewhat the same character that the original Carlton would have done. See, I, I, I think Carlton would have said something. Can you go back and look at the original Carlton? He did some sucker stuff, but it was some times where he stood up for stuff that was right. It was it might have been corny when he did it, but he did stand up for stuff, stuff that was right. I think that oh original Carlton would have been like, "Hey, bro, yo, oh, we ain't doing that." Hmm. I don't know. It, that's kind of hard, hard to tell, hard right. to say. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I I get what you're saying because there was a couple of times that Carlton did stand up for himself in the original one. Right. I think ah. this Carlton is is more lenient. Go along and get along because even like. So like, so you take that scene, you know, they all, I forgot what song, what song they singing? Oh, Hot Boys. Hot Boys. Hot Nigga. I'm a hot nigga. I'm a hot (laughs) nigga. Yeah. Yeah. It's all good about a week ago that Bobby Smyrna. Yeah, Bobby Smyrna. Yeah. Yeah. So, first of all, how much, how comfortable you are letting people say say that around you that don't look like you, that's not part of, not part of the culture. You know, I'm like, come on, man, you can't be doing that. That's another dynamic to it that 
you know, I see a lot. I mean, let's take our uh, our friend at um at the country club. Even he said, you know, he ain't gonna say that around us when if he like one of the songs come on. And, you know, he really loved rap music. Yeah. You know, he knew not. He said, I ain't gonna say that. Yeah, but it, it, and I get, and I get that point, but it, it also to me that was a big conversation starter right mm-hmm. there because right. you know uh, Carlton bring up like how can you sit there and be mad at him for repeating the rap lyrics that these rappers gear their music towards to to make it seem like it's cool to do it mm-hmm. and so he brought up a good point. I mean, I, mean, I heard I heard somebody say this, and I think this is a good way to put it. All right. My wife can call me Boo, right? Mm-hmm. Or Bay. We'll say Bay. Well, she say Bay all the time. She call me Bay. We in pub. Hey Bay, how you doing? Blah blah blah. Right? If I go somewhere and some girl call me Bay, she don't have that right. She's not my wife. Well, your wife gonna have a problem with it. Well, I'm just saying she don't and have then- that right. And then you're gonna have a problem. Problem, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She call you that. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, wait. Wait, hold on. Whoa, did, what? You look too comfortable. You... Like, you look too comfortable. You look too comfortable. Yeah. You know, um, you and I could be brothers, right? Because in our family, I might call you Pookie, whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That don't mean somebody outside of the family can call you Pookie. They're yeah. not part of the family. They're not fam. I get what you're They're saying. They're not fam. You know what I'm saying? I get and it. And I think. I mean, it, it goes in, even if like it's certain things that the white folks can say to each other that we can't say. Yeah. It's certain things that Asian people can say to each other that we can't say. Yeah. I we're not part of that fam. So we're I not think part of that culture. We're not part of that culture. We're not part of that fam. So my thing is like, you can't, you know, you can't say, well, because they stand on the record, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can say, it. I mean, a Jewish person can put out, an uh, anti um Jewish um record saying all kinds of Jewish slurs and stuff like that. Yeah. You can't say that. I get what you, I I it, it trust me, I get a hundred percent of what you're saying. I'm just saying, like, at some point we do need to have that conversation what Carlton was bringing up. Oh yeah, you I mean, yeah, I don't I mean, but I think that's a, that's another that's conversation. Another show. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's another conversation done in house. Yeah. You no, know, when okay. should, should we bury? Should we stop using that word? And I, and I agree, that's a conversation we should have. Yeah. So I'm not disagreeing with that, but I think the argument to say because I say it, watching somebody else have permission to say it, is a, is a bad argument to me because there's just certain things you can't say because you're not a part of my family. Oh, true, true, and and that's one part that I'm I'm with you at. I'm just saying that I just don't want our people to ignore a big part of what Carlton said in that statement as in right. these rappers are getting monetized for using this certain mm-hmm. type of language. Okay. Right. And, and, it, and let's be honest, some of the rap music that comes out right now ain't geared towards us. It ain't he even right. marketed towards us. That's it's true. marketed to get those, those, those white boys money. That, that's, because that's, that's a good point too. Because they the ones that's going to spend the money and all the iTunes and, and if they still mm-hmm. have CDs and, and buy mm-hmm. the VIP access, you know, little T-shirts. Right, right, right. And, and meet them, meet and greet and backstage and mm-hmm. sit front row and spend whatever, how much it costs. You can spike up the money. They'll still pay for it. You right. know what I'm saying? It, like, right. it, 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 he's, he brought up a good point. You're using certain language that's going to put money in their pockets. Okay. And so, yeah, I, I mean, I'm when he said it, I'm like, hmm. Hmm. I was like, damn, I, I guess you. I never really... I'm like, I, I see you. Really, yeah. I see you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I see you, Melko. I see you, Melko. Yeah, yeah but, but, but I mean, just... Uh, it, it, it was weird coming from him because you see how this character developed and you're like, well, you want to shy see son of a bitch, boy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's, co- he's a complex character. I mean, that's, that's, that's what I like about this show. A lot mm-hmm. of characters are complex. They're not just one dimensional. Oh, that's I mean, a true fact. I like that. You know what I'm saying? You look at it. the mom, you know, very complex. She wants to support her husband, but she has her own passion too. She put it on a back burner, you know, and I, I hope they develop that more. So you can see more about her art and what is she, you know what I'm saying? I want to know more about that story. Um, 
There's another point I wanted to bring up. Because I'm tip my tongue too. When you, it was that scene that I thought was kind of interesting. And then um it was another scene. God, dog, what was it? Um Jesus. Why? I'm not gonna forget it's that. that kept, it's that old man brain. The bro. old man brain, bro. It's, it's, it's kicking in all the way in. Bro, you need to start writing shit down, old man. I be trying to, but then I forget to take out the patent man. <laughs> <laughs> so until the shit just kick in. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I be like, yeah, I know I'm gonna take out this patent pen. We're gonna be good. Show get started. <laughs> Supposed to be doing something. <laughs> it's because your head be in a million different places. Dog. It do though. My man, my mind always in five different places, bro. But um, I did like, I like. Were you referring to the Hillary and Aunt Viv uh, scene? Not that one. That's actually a good scene too. That's actually a good scene too. I like that dynamics because it's interesting that, and you see this now that the mom doesn't see social media as a real career mm -hmm. and you see that generational gap there because yeah. she keeps saying well, we need to get a real job you know yeah. you need to like you know let me get some of my sorority sisters and get you a real opportunity and i like yeah. i like that dynamic because that is going on now because like even what we're doing now some of the people like my dad and older people like okay that's a hobby you got this little hobby you're doing, this little thing you're playing with. Yeah. And don't see how, don't see the opportunity behind it. Yeah. You know, so I like that dynamic of that. And I like the fact that, hey, go ahead. They, they said the same thing about video games. Yep, they did. And they now did. look at video games. Like there's, there's, uh, I'll put it to you like this. Chad Johnson, who played in the NFL, mm -hmm. has taken on a career at playing video games. Right. And he says it pays the bills. Mm-hmm. Okay? Wait, a former NFL player is now saying that the to pay the bills now, he's gone from one competitive arena to another and still paying the bills. Still paying the bills, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, right. Like some of these tournaments, man, you can walk out with a hundred grand from a weekend playing winning the tournament. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. What normal? First of all, I don't even think I've ever made a hundred grand in my life, and I've been working since <laughs> since, since sixteen. Right, right. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, like it, it's it's just a weird dynamic how times to change and certain avenues of, of making right. money and and, right. and 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 so I, I like, I think I I I really dig Hillary's uh, way of character this year. She's she's free spirited. Mm -hmm. Um, she's not a dunce. She's she's right. actually got layers to her. Right. And she she just wants to prove that she can do something on her own and and not be afraid to leave the nest and right. feel like it's something that she can call her own. I mean, had had a good lucrative job it, that they wanted to give her, but she was like, "No, it's not me, y'all." And they try to compromise her. Didn't it? It's interesting how they say, "Well, we're not really marketing towards your demographic, but you want me to sell it." Mm -hmm. So you don't want. You're not marketing towards black people, which want me as a black person to sell this product. I thought that was interesting. Like, how does that work? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <What> you mean? <laughs> like, you, like you, you you try to put a square like, pe square peg in a in a circle, like it's not. Right. Can you be less black, please? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, that's almost like they were saying. You know, no, uh, that's all this, what they were saying. All this flashy stuff, and you know, we, we can't do that. No, you know, you, you, you know, you um overshadowing your food and. You know, and can I put that spice in there? You know, um, it's too spicy. I'm like, dang, it's like you taking everything about her out of it. And it was big for her to say, no. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know people argue where her parents got money. That's why she's able to turn it down. But there's still a level. I mean, that's not, let me say this. That's not her fault that her parents got money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But she could have been like, yeah, I'm a, I can go ahead and go with it and keep on selling out and, go, and going down that road. Well, she at least had a, a level of integrity to say, you know what? No, I'm going to be me. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you got to give her that. Yeah. You got to give her that. Um, the Aunt Viv character is interesting. Yeah. It's like she's like, she still got Philly in there, but she's like, she'll put it on the back burner to, mm -hmm. to put up a certain image. Right. 
and she only brings it out when she feels like she's in a comfortable mm-hmm. setting, if that makes mm-hmm. sense. So what do you think about that? Because, you know, you hear a lot of people talk about because we had talked about it on a show with uh, my man. We were talking about them um, being black in, um, corporate America. in corporate America. Yeah. And they'll talk about code switching, the idea of code switching and stuff like that. You you know it. I'll say I'll say it like this. I'm myself everywhere mm-hmm. I go, mm-hmm. but certain words or dialect that I use might right. change just right. because I know who the audience I'm talking to. Mm-hmm. So like I'll say something and I'll use my normal dialect like if I'm talking with the homies and I, and, right. and I'll look around and I'll still get the the question mark faces. So mm-hmm. then I'll break it down in there. Say, oh, dialect. you one of those kind of black people. <laughs> well, well, I mean, no, because no, I've done it before. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Like, they're they like, huh? What are you saying? I'm like, all right, Bob. Bob <laughs> did this and Bob did that. <laughs> so I have to break it down in their kind of way that they're, I mean, whether you want to say it, Ebonics, every race has their own type of coding or way that they talk. I mean, okay. I'm, I'm just going to say it. Like, mm-hmm. the majority of black folks, we, we speak Ebonics, you mm-hmm. know? Uh, you know, the less melanated people, you know, they they use that real English, I guess. As, <laughs> the Queen's English. <laughs> yeah, the Queen's English. And so sometimes you got to switch out of Ebonics mm-hmm. and talk to certain people in Queen's English because that's what they understand. They don't 100% understand Ebonics. So that's why you break it down to them like that. And so, but I, I don't, as long as you're still being you, I don't, mm-hmm. I don't see a problem with, with, code switching as long as the core of you is still there. Now, if you're changing in certain dialects so people can actually understand what you're talking about, mm-hmm. that's just because I'm I'm trying to find a way to communicate with y'all. It's, okay. not, it's not me changing me, because I'm going to be me. Mm-hmm. You know, I just, this is a moment that we need to learn how to communicate, and if I'm speaking 100% Ebonics to you, and you ain't never seen no black hand since the first time you looked in the mirror this morning, <laughs> I don't, you know, it, we're going to have a disconnect. So, okay. Um, I don't know. It, 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 I think that is an interesting dynamic with her character for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think. Um, so you talk about the idea of code switching and the whole dynamics behind it. You know, I work in a corporate environment, mm-hmm. and sometimes, like, my boss came up to me today. He's like, "Um." Uh, Hey, yeah, you know, y'all, y'all, y'all line sold the most stuff over there. Y'all was really busy. A lot of execs had came into your line. And like I told him, I said, well, I know a lot of people. I know their names, but I don't know their position. So there was a Zex I would have known. Mm-hmm. You know, I will just talk to them like I talked to everybody else. But even if they were a Zex, I still said the same thing. Yeah. I said, you know, I just talk to people like they're people. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't have to. I don't have to like change the way I talk to people or treat people or treat people yeah. different, you know, Oh, polish your shoes, boss. Uh, wipe, wipe your forehead, boss. You good, boss. Okay. Oh, can, can I get that fork for you, boss? See, I, I, no, I can't, I don't do that kind of nah. stuff, you know? Yeah. And, I mean, yeah, that's, like that's, that. but that's, that's the extreme of it, you know? And there's just slight things where but there's people that do that. And, that, that, do that. and we can't ignore the fact there's that Steven, there's there Stevens, are there's Stevens that. out there. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Then, then there's the light, the people that kind of lightly do it, where you and I are talking, yeah, yeah, nigga, what's good? Well, I ain't gonna say nigga, cause, cause that's something you know you might not say at work, but I say, yeah, bro, what's good? You know, you know what's popping? What was you doing last night? Oh man, you know, we out here kicking such such such. Then soon, somebody else will kind of look like you. Hey, how are you doing, Cheryl? How was your day? You know, I don't do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Somebody come in, I say, hey, what's up? Good. All right, you know, I'm gonna say what's up, nigga, or something like that. But I say, hey, hey, what's up? You doing? You good? Or I might say, hey, how you doing? Something like that. Yeah, that's my universal song. Like, yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? How yeah. you doing? You good? You know what I'm yeah. saying? You good? You good? Yeah. All right. You know, I, I will say that. You and Gucci? Exa- <laughs> right. <laughs> you Gucci with that coach? <laughs> sir, please don't talk like that in no corporate setting. <laughs> no, no, you are asking for travel, sir. No. Hey, grab time behind that skirt, <laughs> sir. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but uh, now nah, I will. Man, shoot, man, like today, me, me and my boy, we surfing, and I'm just cracking jokes. That's what I do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just being you, just being me, and you know, keep going. Boom, boom, boom. 
And that's what I do, man. And I, I just don't change, you know. The job gets done. The job gets done. We serving good the, food. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we're getting compliments. Yeah. And keep it moving. And I give everybody the same service. Yeah. So I think that's more who I am. Now, I don't get down on people who do the light code switching. What I mean by that, I understand if you don't feel comfortable enough to... Everybody He's can't right. be me. I, I, I say it like this. And I, it's not me saying anything bad. Everybody can't be me. I have a type of personality that I recognize this, that I can make people feel comfortable and I can say certain things to certain people. Mm -hmm. I can call you dumb and you don't and make you and laugh at that. And, yeah, but don't get offended by it. Yeah. You don't get offended by it. And I understand I have that personality. You know what I'm saying? So my, so my thing is I know everybody can't be me. Well, no, you're so, cautious of who your audience is. Right. And so my thing is, so I understand people who have to lightly do a light code switch, for lack of better words. But now on the other, they don't, they don't like that Steven extreme. You know, it's like, uh, sign your shoes, boss. You good, boss? Oh, tie your shoes, boss. You good, boss? No. That's on the other extreme. Now, stuff like that, I look down. Is it done like. taking a shit, boss? I right. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, uh, three squares, boss? <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? That, right. <laughs> <laughs> Three strikes to the back, flush. Now, boss, how yeah. many times I got to tell you, you got to be at a 90 degree angle right. for me to get it all out. <laughs> you need more iron in your dad, boss. <laughs> Too much straining. <laughs> you must be not eating them greens. <laughs> <laughs> right. So that, that's the that's the far extreme that I'll be like, all right, that's a little too much for me. Yeah. Now, la let's before we close out, let's, I, I wanted to ask this part is are they the new Huxtable? Uh, or how have we just seen how we have so many black people on TV in high positions now that it's no longer a groundbreaking thing anymore? I'll say this. Uh it, it it might be able to fill a void in that position because okay. you, I, I you know uh, from what TV that I do watch I mean you got um, All American which is kind of similar mm -hmm. kind of basis um, I know there's some shows on BET but I, I don't know I haven't really been watching BET like that I don't, really, I don't, I don't get down with BET because I ain't black yeah. on my yeah I feel a little certain way about BET mm -hmm. um, and some of that stuff you look like they be trying to Cool, cool down. Yeah, I feel like they be trying to sambo some shit sometimes. Yeah, I'd be like, come on, BET. Yeah. Why uh, why all these niggas eating watermelon and chicken? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come on now, BET. <laughs> when you fall for the banana tailpipe no more. <laughs> Everybody eating watermelon, nigga. Come on now. <laughs> hey, literally once Bob Johnson sold it, I'm like, uh, it's oh, here we down. go. Yeah, it's like, a piece uh, of chicken, a slice of watermelon for every nigga on the show now. <laughs> That's how it's gonna be. As soon as he sold, I knew how I knew the script about to be. You know what then, they, then they got a lot of Tyler Perry shit in there. Like, oh, I know. I'm sorry. All right, y'all. Please don't get mad at us because we're not big. All right, here's my distaste of Tyler Perry. I know what he does for the community. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the way he depicts our people, I'm like, bro, stop being stereotypical about how you depict our people. That's why I get issues with because it's the same material. It's the, it's same, the same shit. It's just like Taco Bell, same sandwich, just folded different. Thank you. And I'm like, bro, like a gordilla, on, like, a gordilla is, a, is a taco supreme, just folded different. Like, stop depicting our people the way that you keep that you made riches off of and just because you made riches off of it don't mean you got to keep washing repeating the same shit right it, wash and repeat that's that's come on yeah bro. that's the and just some of the stuff getting more it's getting even more cornier though like i forgot that one i had watched that acting was so bad I, five minutes into it, i was like click em. Mm -hmm. i couldn't <laughs> i couldn't do it i was like you gave him the click em cuz <laughs> <Yeah, click 'em. laughs> <laughs> i could be watching more of that like, this is garbage <laughs> <laughs> I go out to the elementary school see a play better uh, than this crap. I can't stand the basketball wives mess. I don't like that shit. I don't like the way it, it depict our black women. Like that shit don't. I, I hate that it's, shit. I mean, drama sales, bro. And drama I get sales. It. And and I understand that. 
But everything don't have to be drama. You have a piece of drama. It, to me, give me a variety. Bro, make some comedy, some love, some action, yeah. some all in it. Don't make it 100% over-exaggerated drama. And it's because it, it's not a hundred percent depiction of it, and that's why I can't stand it. Yeah, but that's like what I love man. about this Bel Air reboot, man. But to answer your original question, I I think it could possibly fill a void mm -hmm. of being the quote unquote Huxtable family, you know, that people could probably aspire to be. Mm -hmm. But I think with this show, uh, you know, being a reboot, it can't be mm -hmm. an original like Huxtable type. Okay. So I just think it, it it could fill a void that we haven't really had since the original Fresh Prince of Bel Air, right. or you know, like Martin. I think I I could probably put Martin in that same boat, as in, you know, being a, a, a depiction of of what uh, the average black family or black couple goes right. through. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I like it because let's go back to Bill Cosby. Don't get me wrong. Bill Cosby, when the Cosby show first came out, mm -hmm. I couldn't wait to watch it. I run home. I mean, Cosby show, let's go watch it. Cosby show and Mark was two shows. I would, Wherever I'm at, if they weren't going to watch it, I'm going to the crib so I can go watch it. <laughs> oh, y'all ain't watching that? All right, man. I'll, I'll go to the crib so I can go ahead and catch it. You know what I'm saying? So they were groundbreaking shows. Mm -hmm. Mark, I mean, the Cosby was because it was one of the first, the first shows that I can remember where you saw a successful black man mm -hmm. and a successful black woman, mm -hmm. you know, doing something with their lives and their kids wasn't into a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, they had some things in there they could address issues and stuff like that. But, it, you know what I'm saying, it was relatable because I didn't see anything like that. Mm -hmm. Now, you fast forward to now, this is more relatable because now they really get down to the nitty gritty of issues. It's no longer like it's no longer surface. It's no longer like that. We're going to kind of talk about a little bit, brush over and keep it moving. They actually get down to what you do with your kid that has a drug problem. You, you, talk behind your, you know what I'm saying? Because you, 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 you think you got this perfect family. Mm -hmm. You know, your, your son has a drug problem. Um, your daughters, she don't ha she obviously doesn't either. Ask the Ashley care either does not connect with the people in Bel Air, or she don't have any friends at all. Because if you really look at it, in the four episodes I've seen, you'll never see her playing having playing with anybody in Bel Air until mm -hmm. all time you see her with friends until she sneaks off to the, to the kid to the hood. <laughs> She's not going to the hood. You know what I'm saying? That's the only time yeah. you see her with friends. Mm -hmm. So that's an interesting dynamic. Yeah. You know, but it's relatable. It's like, okay, that kind of okay. Then you look at the car. I mean, that Carlton. Then the Hillary. You know, we talked about that. Then you look at Will. Mm -hmm. How do you fit in? Coming from one cultural West um, Philly, <laughs> West Philly. You know, which is whole totally different to Bel Air. <laughs> to Bel Air, and yeah. now that's totally different. You around a group of people that's mostly black, going to a group of people that's mostly white. Mm -hmm. And you're still trying to keep your identity, mm -hmm. you know. And I think a couple things I saw too. I wanted to point out. It was interesting that he said he grew up in Philly and they have any money, but this nigga had like twenty pair of Jordan. <laughs> I was like, "That's what we do." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When I saw that, I said, "That's what we do." You know what I'm saying? We the ones that got our house on cinder blocks. We got two Range Rovers in the driveway. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I got them J's, though. <laughs> I got them J's, dog. Well, I might not eat today. But I, didn't I, even, fly. I didn't even think about that dynamic. That's an interesting dynamic. To I saw about. that's like, wait a minute. He pulling out boxes of box of shoes. He talking about he grew up old. But I was like, that's what we do, though. That's what we do. And I, I thought that was interesting. You know what I'm saying? When I saw it, I said, okay. I wasn't mad at it. And I just said, I just point out, that's what we do. Like, hmm. that, that's yeah. us. You know what I'm saying? And then I think, too, the fact that he has to learn how, he has to learn what battles to fight hmm. and what battles not to fight. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I think that was part of his character development. I want to see his character arc. I want to see develop, you know, is he going to learn? 
and don't make it cheesy when he if he does it don't i want to see a developed character arc where you can see okay i can see him growing into learning and developing because if you think about a couple incidents uh carlton pushed me to pool i would whoop that ass too oh yeah. <laughs> you know what i'm saying i mean i understand what i was saying like he was already down but you kept hitting him but you gotta realize he, if he went for that girl he would have drowned he'd have been dead D-E-D. Right, you know what I'm saying? So you and you, that that adrenaline is flowing. You're like, this nigga just puts me in a pool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Any and then, boy. <laughs> right, and then he was didn't even like like say, well, damn, I went too far. Let me go help my man. I'd have been out of drown. But then when he was like like talking to the coach, you gotta learn how to humble yourself. Now, lucky he got on the team, but when he first, hey, I'm the man. You gonna talk, oh, hey, look, I want to be on your team. What I need to do. Okay, that's what they do. All right, bang. And do it. Mm-hmm. It wasn't for the dude he met in class that kind of helped him out. He might not got on the team. True. I saw that part, too. I you know, he's kind of like, hey, you know, the coach don't like all celebrating, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You know, he kind of did it. He, he kind of learned. He just wanted to play ball. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's interesting, man. It's interesting. I like it's, it. It's funny because there's a couple of nuggets that I didn't notice that you brought up. So, I'm like... Now, now going in because now they they're dropping the episodes every Thursday, so I think they drop one today. I haven't seen it yet, but okay. Um, they, now I'm, I'm gonna be looking for all kind types of uh, 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 messages that they're, right. that they're, that they're low key dropping in there. And there, there's a there's been a shit ton more that I probably might have seen or just you know saw but really didn't pay attention to. And now right. you're like, oh, oh, okay, you know. I think, I think it's well written, man. I think it's well, written. I like it, man. I like it. I mean, I think I did say to uh, a friend of mine today, I said it was a couple times. Uh, I think Will, the Will character, kind of was working too hard to play that character. But it wasn't a lot, it wasn't enough that it it um it bothered me or anything. But I was kind of like, okay, that part right there, bro. You like you working too hard. You know, this joint right here. You know, this joint right here. <laughs> like, like okay, you hit that, you trying to hit that Philly accent too hard, right? You know, what I'm saying you trying to hit that a little too hard there, bro. Yeah. You know, and then like he's at the thing, hey man, you know you got Philly cheesesteak back there. Uh, look, bro. <laughs> and 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 then I, and I say this part right here, I might be biased because I was a I'm able to go anywhere and eat anything. Anywhere. I mean, you know, what I'm saying, well, I mean, not 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 that I not well, that I have to yeah, change I mean, my I mean, diet I, now, but before I change my diet to a vegan diet. You know, no matter where I went, I find something I can eat. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I, I I couldn't be like, oh, oh no, nah, man, I want I want Coney Island from from Detroit. Y'all got a Coney Island? Y'all got no Coney Island? <laughs> oh, y'all ain't got no uh, I don't know, um, corned beef uh, egg rolls back there. You know what I'm saying? That kind of stuff. I'd be like, hey, man, you know, what you got? And I'd got down with it. Yeah. But I mean, that's just me nitpicking. I ain't. It's not a big deal to me. I was just saying. Yeah. Oh, pick a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, like I said, show was good, man. I, I think can't so wait. too. I can't wait to get into another episode. I've been like, I've been, I've been enjoying it, man. The, the bar's been set high for the first few episodes, I think. So uh, they, they either gotta come up to the bar or go past it for the next episodes. Right, um, right. Um, if they have a down episode, I think the, those who've been watching it so far, you can tell. You like. Mm, that was all right. Yeah, that was all right, man. Y'all, yeah, y'all on that BS today. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I've been enjoying this series. Um, and it's funny because I, I really want going to when I first saw it, they was doing a reboot. I'm like, no, no, I ain't gonna watch this. Man, watch no, I, bro, I said exactly that. I'm like, hey, I'm messing up my original. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't watching this. Bullshit. Y'all always trying to redo something. Yeah, I'm trying to redo something. Re- you know what I'm saying? saying? Make something. It ain't gonna <laughs> never be as good as the original. But right, yeah, right. Now, now that they've really taken like, a more dramatic and more message year. Mm-hmm. And, and not saying that the first, the original one, because they had lots of messages in the first oh, one. Yeah, yeah, they did. But in this one, they're, 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 they're hitting a lot of uh, social boundaries that mm-hmm. need to get talked about in 2022. Right, and right. And you're talking about a lot of them. And a lot of them. And they're not, they're not shying away from it. And they're not. And I love it. And because, like I said, like some of these things I've seen, I'm like, Oh, that's a good conversation starter yeah. right there. All right, there. We need to talk about that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, ooh, that's a good one too. Right, right, right. And then next year you're like, oh 
damn, I didn't see like three good conversation starters in one episode. So right. Oh like, man. And then um uh, jazz, the dynamics of jazz. We talk about that and then we go ahead and wrap it up. But I like the fact that he was an entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I guess he's a he, was he a Uber driver. I guess he's a Uber driver. Yeah, he, he he had the low low as a, as a driving service, right? He, he had got that, the record store. He got the record that he carried on from his grandfather. Mm-hmm. And like he told Hillary, he's like, you know, sometimes I got some ups, I have some downs, but I keep it, I keep it going. You know, I hustle to keep it going. And you like to see that, you know, he ain't out here hustling in the streets and nothing like that. And you know, I shout out to my, my street hustlers. I, I mean, you know, you do what you got to do. Hey, do what you do, man. Do what you do. It's not me putting them down either, because hey, sometimes you just you don't feel like you don't have a way out. So I understand. I do understand that. Um, but he, you know, he's doing. A, he's an entrepreneur. Like, okay, yeah. I'm about to get out here and get my grind on. And the results is, you know, you see the results. He got his own business. And he always hustling something like. I guess the guy that came in the record store was a he was a big music guy. Big something. music guy. Yeah. He's like, hey man, I got this. Boom, boom, boom. You know, so that was I like that, man. I like yeah. it, the, the dynamics of him too. So look, it's got it's good care. Uh, oh, the old girl that um uh, that Will at Carl's ex and Will kind of kick it with. Lisa. Now yeah. no, before we go, we gotta talk about this because this is a different dynamic, Lisa, than it was from before. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like um it it was like when Will met Lisa and they decided to date and then eventually get married. This is like Carlton's ex, right? <laughs> like right, I right. thought that was a dear. I thought that was a, a nice change of pace with the characters. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, wow, because there's some story behind it, some history because she's already right. already acclimated to the family, the Banks family, because mm-hmm. obviously dating Carlton and now right and now the. Now you got the eyes for the cutting. Like, I'm like, oh. Hey, hey, shoot, that Carlton whack. <laughs> <laughs> I want some of that wheel. That West Philly joint. <laughs> joint. Well, you some of that joint. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that joint. <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 She's nice, too. I was like, all right, I see you. Hey, now Hillary nice. Huh? Oh, Hillary thick, too, now. Who do you think too? Well, I tell you, they didn't shy. They did not. They didn't shy away, away from the hocks on they, that ham. They said, "Boy, we got curves on these ladies." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm gonna go like this. <laughs> then, bam! <laughs> See how on a dress, and I must be like. <laughs> hey, what what Miss what Miss gonna say, bro? I like the, the, the curls on that iceberg. Right. <laughs> curves on that iceberg. Oh, yeah, it's cold. They got some cold feet. Hey, you make me want to do night. something right here. <laughs> like we right want to do something here. at night. Right here, right now. Right. <laughs> yeah, she so got some curves on that iceberg, boy. Oh, boy. No. Oh, like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> boy, <laughs> But no, y'all, uh, why don't y'all jump in the comments? Tell us what y'all right, like right. about the new Bel Air reboot. You know, do a quick little uh, compare and contrast analysis of your own. Put them in the comments. Right, right. And most importantly, going over to the YouTube page, like, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification. And y'all come on back for another episode of Eye Off the Wonder. Until then, it's your boy, Walk Mar, Detroit Mail, signing off. Y'all be good. Peace. Peace. <laughs>